Welcome! Today I want to talk about double back somersault out of stuff. Still one of the most impressive figures in acrobatic rock and roll and very much my interest. I want to especially focus on, well, the two most legendary couples in acrobatic rock and roll, Marcia and Diego Kidoni and Olga Spitneva and Ivan Yudin, which I believe have the best double back somersault technique of all time. Actually, two years ago when I was on a training camp in Moscow, I was talking a lot with Olga about her technique and she gave me some really interesting facts about her technique, which I want to share today with you. First of all, one thing many people forget about in acrobatic rock and roll is the fact that every somersault out of stuff, every figure out of stuff, the girl has to jump only out of one leg and of course this is much more difficult than jumping a double somersault on a spring floor in gymnastics with both legs and the second important aspect is that it's a system of two people if you are a gymnast you have the whole control over the movement and there is no second part there is no couple harmony or anything it is a system of one person but if you put two people together it's a whole other game before i will deeply move into the single techniques i want to get you aware of the fact that in every sport where you see somersaults double somersaults there is a certain kind of, of technique that is adapted to the way the somersault is performed because you have for example in diving you're jumping uh, down from a platform so you are rotating upwards. In acrobatic rock and roll, you are thrown by, other not by another person. It's the same like in acrobatic gymnastics, for example. Actually, these are very similar sports and I get a lot of my inspiration out of acrobatic gymnastics. Or like in regular gymnastics, where you usually have a spring floor, which is also a lot different because... Um, it gives you that power. It's a completely other game when you, like Yaya Sila, uh, jump a double somersault um, on grass. This is probably the most crazy thing I've seen and I will come to him later in the video because he has a very um, important aspect in his technique that is also important for a good uh, double somersault technique in acrobatic rock and roll. The key to a perfect double somersault technique in acrobatic rock and roll and also acrobatic gymnastics is the ability to still spin upwards in the second rotation. And very little people were able to realize this. For example, in acrobatic gymnastics, Anna Katalova and Marina Chernova, or in acrobatic rock and roll, of course, Olga Spitneva, Marcia and Diego Kidoni, and for the front double somersault, Somersault, Ingrid Fuyor, for example. And we have uh, another person, Yaya Sula. I want to start with him to explain what exactly I mean by this. Spinning upwards in the second rotation or creating speed when you are still spinning upwards. And here comes the most important, in some way, secret aspect. In trampolining and floor gymnastics, you will see. A lot of people pushing very long with the arm, especially in trampolining, it's a good technique because you actually have the time to do that. But if you don't have the height actually and don't have the time to push so long, um, you want to start the rotation as early as possible. Olga told me that her technique is to let her arms down. And you will basically see this with all very good gymnasts, everybody who is performing triple somersault, so they all let the arms down. The reason for that is, of course, it is more difficult because um, you jump upwards and you still want to jump upwards, but you want to start the rotation already when you're still jumping upwards. So imagine what would happen if you would throw the arms straight up. You would have to bring them down or the knees have to come up. So that actually means from the rotation radius you will lose 25, maybe up to 40% of the rotation 
in comparison, if I manage it, that my arms can stay down, I can already push very early into the rotation. And so I can start my rotation much earlier. Of course, this is a very advanced technique because you, you need to be able to still move upwards without the arms and then start already spinning. This is very difficult. It sounds easy in theory, but of course it is a, a very advanced and very difficult te technique because you also have to uh, let your body straight. And here comes the second important uh, part. The shin bone is always giving the direction of the rotation because you want to bring your hip over the shoulder. And when your shin bone, you can see this on this video from 2011 from Olga and Ivan, she's performing this very well. You can see her shin bones are really giving speed in the rotation. The uh, legs are very close together in that position. Uh, just perfect. If we look at Afanasyev, all the good gymnasts, they are doing this. You can see he, he looks really relaxed, letting his arms down and the rotation is pushing in. Of course, you need to say he's on a spring floor and this is a completely different game. When we now move to Yaya Silla and I have so much respect for him, he has actually no training equipment. He, is, he has poor passion for the thing he's doing. And yeah, this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Um, let's take a close look. So... At the first point, he's jumping up very straight. This is very important. And to hold on to that straight axis. So, and you can see his arms stay down. And now he's really pushing very hard in, bringing his legs very close together. And you can really see he's able to start the rotation on a very early point. Imagine what would happen if he would throw his arms up. He would never do a double somersault. Um, because uh, he would lose a lot of the rotation. This is when you, in diving, for example, you you go down, actually you have the height. But the thing is, like, when you jump out of yourself on a hard floor, you have to create all the rotation from yourself. The same in acrobatic gymnastics or acrobatic rock and roll. Rock and roll. You have to be thrown upwards. This is a different technique. You have always to keep this in mind. This is different from trampolining where you have a lot of time to go into the double somersault. I tried to practice these findings on trampoline and a launch by myself a little bit, and I really can give this advice to every coach. It is You can give very different advice if you have done the acrobatic by yourself. It will be a completely different way to think about everything because double somersault is really crazy stuff and i have a lot of respect for every girl, girl who is doing it for the end let's take a close look on these aspects on Matsya and diego kidoni and olga spitneva and ivan judin i don't need to mention that their stuff technique is absolutely brilliant and pure perfection for both couples um i will do an extra video on this topic, of course. Um, I don't need to mention that, of course, this is the base for a perfect double somersault. Matsya and Diego realized all these aspects at a time where most couples were even struggling with a single somersault. You can see the sal salto in general is very high. Um, she's pushing very early in the rotation and she's very early finished the landing is absolutely perfect diego can grip that still today a class for themselves and i believe olga and even are the only couple who reached that level for the double somersault and probably even put a little spark on it because ivan uh, puts his arms completely down which looks even more impressive and you really have to say Olga is not the smallest girl. Of course, Ivan is a titan and she's a machine too. Um, but in order to create such a good acrobatic, such a pure perfection, everything has to fit into each other. And I'm really impressed 
especially from that somersault in 2011, which is the highest level we have ever seen, probably. And with about 40 years, Olga is still performing double back, which is just impressive. So let's take a look back to 2011. Um, you can see perfect transition. Um, the rotation is taking place incredibly early and is finished incredibly early. The landing is just perfect. Um, this is something you can't say much about it because this is pure perfection. Look at this example from 2014. It's simply impressive. Like she's nailed at this point in the air. Look where the second rotation is taking place. It's like she's like almost moving nothing and she comes out of the second rotation so early is so early finished this is like he his arms are down the picture is standing up for a long time it is absolutely perfect i could watch this forever so i really hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know down in the comments what is your favorite double somersault technique who are your idols in double somersault